Let's take a look at the latest updates available to you in Adobe Muse. Muse allows you to work with content-rich sites more easily than ever because of dozens of usability and performance updates. These include faster, smoother, and more intuitive design features, improved load times for published sites, and the ability to publish securely using automated FTP settings. In this video, I'm going to focus on some productivity features that we can touch with in the application. So I'm working here on Ike's Bikes, and I'm on the landing page of the site. One enhancement we have is I can easily toggle between viewing the entire site by double-clicking the hand tool or double-clicking on the magnifying tool to zoom into 100% of actual size. I'll go ahead and zoom back out. I'm working on some typography here, so I'm going to press and drag my zoom tool and get right on that text that I'm working on. We have a number of typographic enhancements with this release. I can come on in with the text tool, and I'm working on the copy here. I've got, we were first in Noe. And what I want to do is make the ST in first a superscript. I can open up the text panel here, and you'll notice I now have support for superscript, subscript for things like footers. I also have all caps and all lowercase. I'll go ahead and set that as a superscript character, and that'll be respected across browsers. I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to select Call to make an appointment, and I'd like to go ahead, I could make that all lowercase or all uppercase. That's what I want to set it at, but I can always toggle to undo that change if I change my mind. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and close out this text panel. I now want to add a widget onto my page. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the guides, bring up a grid design that I have here. I'm going to press and drag a tabbed panel out of the widget library. What you'll notice is that this widget has included with it default states, styles, and content. We want to make it easier for you to understand how this widget behaves. But if you're used to Muse and you've used it for some time, it can be quite time consuming to remove up, down, over, active states for objects and all of the content that we place in those containers. We make it very easy now to reuse this content by simply selecting the widget. So I'll make sure I have the parent widget selected. I can now bring up the right mouse menu and select Clear All Styling. I can then come in and apply my own paragraph styles without a lot of steps necessary. I can also come in and right mouse and select Clear Widget Content. It's going to remove all images, all text inside those containers. So now I'm free to come in and add my own tabbed elements. Now you'll notice if I get rid of guides here that we no longer put a stroke to show the default containers that have no styling applied to them. That can be nice from a design standpoint, but if you're trying to find where your container is, that can be cumbersome. So we've added a feature, if you pull down under View here, to show frame edges. You can toggle that hide and show frame edges and easily see where objects are on the canvas. Now the last improvement we have has to do with more complex documents and finding content that you have throughout the document. If I bring up the Assets panel, and let's zoom out a little bit here, I have objects that I'm using throughout my site design. For example, I have a lock that's being used here, but the lock has been defined as a background fill. When I come to the Assets panel, unlike the logo here, you'll notice there's multiple instances that I can see of that logo on individual pages. The lock just shows that it's a background image. I can now right mouse on that object and see the go-to asset use. I can see all the instances on individual pages where that background fill is being applied. I can go to that page, decide if I want to continue to use that image and such. That same feature is available for things like paragraph styles. I can right mouse on body copy and see all the instances of that paragraph style. Now this feature applies to paragraph styles, graphic styles, character styles, and bulleted lists. Now everything I've shown you is an enhancement that's available to you now as part of your Creative Cloud membership. I encourage you to download the update today through the Creative Cloud desktop app or from the updater screen in Adobe Muse. Thank you.